Hello everyone, the chart guys have been working on an introductory technical analysis course for quite some time now and after surveying hundreds of traders with what would be the most sought after information regarding technical analysis, we came up with this course, When to Enter and Exit. It covers over five hours of the basics on when to enter and exit and we feel after watching this course it will help build a foundation of technical analysis knowledge which will eliminate a lot of the uncertainty in the world of trading stocks. So the course outline, we go over the psychology of trading, establishing a game plan, the different indicators we use to signal a bullish and bearish entry, how to recognize support and resistance levels, poor entries where traders make mistakes, exit targets, how do you know where to sell your trade, where to place stop losses, that's very important, minimizing losses is what keeps you in the game long term, my personal preparations, how I go about getting ready for each trading day, and then piecing it all together, utilizing all the information we just learned and how to apply that in the real world for making successful, profitable trades. As a bonus, we also include a lot of information on finding entries and exits utilizing patterns. And you can find these patterns on every time frame on pretty much any stock and commodity trading. And certainly being able to recognize those patterns can give you an edge as well. So we hope you will check this out. Again, it's an introductory level course. So if you are new to technical analysis and trying to get a firm grasp on things and seeming feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then this course is for you. I hope you check it out. Appreciate you watching. Hello everyone, looking at Apple on the daily and weekly time frame. If you find these videos helpful, we would appreciate likes and shares. They certainly make a difference. So Apple, we've known it's been strong for a very long time and it's done nothing to tell us otherwise. We had an inside candlestick on the daily time frame. As soon as we broke 119.38, that's your bull signal on the inside candlestick. We closed above the upper Bollinger Band for the third day in a row, up near the high of the day. We're looking at 120 psychological resistance and then 120.61 resistance from the weekly time frame. Very strong chart, the tech sector is strong and Apple is one of the leaders here. And we are getting this cup and handle breakout pattern where we couldn't break the left side of the cup, we consolidated, and then we're getting a bull move to the upside. Psychology is there in line with that pattern and really liking the bulls and their strength here. And that resistance is from back here. You can't see it behind the, well, let's make it so we can see it. 120.61 resistance on the weekly time frame from back in November 2015. That's the next price we're looking at. If we get above that level, it will be the highest price we've seen in almost a year and a half. So the bulls are in full control of Apple. Let's look on the five minute time frame for some indications today. We saw the initial bull move to start the day. Pretty tight trading, higher lows, lower highs. We did have a bear break. Look at the base of support built at the bottom at the low of the day. That's 118.63, 118.61, 118.60. And it ended up being a descending triangle where you have a clear lower high pattern and a clear horizontal base of support. And the break occurs when the lower high pattern breaks. So right here, I'm seeing 118.97. So breaking 118.97, turning all five minute moving average supports, or all five minute moving averages into support was a potential bull entry signal. But if you wanted to be more cautious, you waited for the inside daily candlestick to break. And that occurred with a break of 11938. And we came the high of the day, first thing, 119.36, two pennies shy, a little bit of a double top at that level. Look how the bulls responded once we broke that double top. This was the candlestick it happened on. Huge breakout, continuation, huge move to the upside. So if you made an entry at 119.40, right after the inside candlestick broke, in about a half an hour, you're looking at a 50 cent gain. And in weekly options, that's a big time move in a short amount of time. There's really nice gains to be had there. So the Apple Bulls closing strong. We've got all hourly moving averages as support. SPY closed up at the high of the day. We're looking for the S&P 500 to see an all-time high. We've got QQQ looking for all-time highs. We've been hitting all-time highs in QQQ pretty much every day. Didn't get it today, but we closed just under that all-time high. And we know the tech sector is a big weight in QQQ. So I always factor in what the tech sector is doing while I'm looking at that ticker. So the bulls are in full control, looking really good heading into tomorrow, and we'll see how much further upside we can get. Break of 120, 120.61 is next resistance. Upper Bollinger Band on the daily is support. As long as we keep closing above that level, bulls are in full-on breakout mode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.